So today I am sitting in the parking lot of a Goodwill right now because I wanted to do like a shopping my Pinterest inspiration or like for me it's Pinterest and Instagram because that's where I store a lot of like my inspiration photos for my um, wardrobe. Emily Faith is the person who inspired this video. She did one recently on her channel and I just thought it was like a fun way to go about like thrifting instead of just like going thrifting aimlessly. Also here it's back there. Um, so we're going to see how this goes with a toddler thrifting for clothes. We'll see. <laughs> um, but let me just hop to my phone. Let's pop into my Pinterest right now and I'm going to go to my like fall and winter um, capsule. Here we go. And this is, I kind of group fall and winter together because they tend to kind of be like, I, I don't get new stuff really from fall to winter all that much. I'll obviously layer up more for winter because it's pretty cold and snowy here. But um, yeah, here's kind of an overview. I have some more like recent pins. So I'm really into still like white chunky sweaters, but I'm really into these like um, kind of bone colored hats. I don't know if that's something I'm going to find at a thrift store. I'm also loving the idea of growing my hair out again and having like a cute um, scarf in my hair. That seems like something very doable to find at a thrift store. I'm also into kind of like these bigger statement earrings this season. Um, small gold jewelry or like smallish gold jewelry. I also am really, again, there's like that kind of hat, that color that I'm looking at. And then I love light wash jeans still that's like a staple for me in the summer and i do really enjoy wearing them into the um fall time too and then this kind of like rust color is just like my color that i want to add just a ton to my wardrobe come fall and winter this year and then i always love like some like that brown leather accents or accessories um so again pairing like dark kind of navy tops there's like a statement earring with like light jeans right up my alley that is like my go-to color i absolutely love linen i really think linen can be worn year-round just changing up the color of it a bit um again here's with the, that rust color but these are in pant form i also am like obsessed with um camel sweaters i just think that they are like a perfect timeless neutral for the fall and winter months uh, and I'm never afraid of wearing like white after Labor Day. So I love the vibes of this cream and white, very like kind of monochromatic look. So definitely for me, uh, for me come fall that I'm looking for would be like camel tops, sweaters like that, and then some navies. Um, I mean, if I could find a hat like that, that'd be amazing at a thrift store. Um, let's see what else. Again, with the camel, camel, camel. Love it navy even like that jacket is pretty cute i'm into that and again there's that hat that i'm like cert like dying to own um camel creams light to medium wash denim lots of brown details i have pinned apparently this sweater like a million times i gotta find that sweater somehow at a thrift store but yeah you kind of get like the gist of my vibes for fall and winter, I like to keep it like really, really simple. My lifestyle is very casual, simple. So um, that's what I'm going for. Even just like simple black tops like that. And, uh, you know, some nice kind of more like wide, not wide leg, but like straight leg, uh, medium wash denim, which I already own. Uh, it's more of like the tops that I'm looking at for this video. All right, now let's pop over to my Instagram and go to some of my saved. Let's see here. And here, I have another one that's like my fall winter style here. So again, you're just gonna see a ton of this like rust color, light colored jeans. There's that hat again that I'm eyeing up. Um, kind of into some of these like Western vibes. Um, but a lot of this is kind of more of like color. Like I just love the pairing of this kind of like peachy with these darker, again, rusty orange colored pants. Um, again, I still love like whites and neutrals like that after Labor Day and into fall. This is like my jam for a color palette here for a fall. Again, there's a turtleneck or like a, almost like a mock neck, I'd guess you'd say. Camel, love it. Just like chunky white sweaters, light jeans. Perfect fall outfit. More camel. 
I actually own a pair of like shoes like that that are ages ages old that I love still. Um, yeah, just kind of like these. This these are all my fall vibes and maybe like color palette. Love these colors too. So I think what I'm looking for is mostly in the form of like colors when I'm at the thrift store. Um, finding things that fit this like kind of very dialed in color palette that I think I'm going to have come the fall months. That's what I got going on for my inspiration and let's see what we find. All right, I brought snacks for Harriet, so hopefully this goes well. <laughs> We're gonna go into the thrift store right now. And then outside of um, the like style things that I'm looking for apparel. I always look for like stuff for Harriet too in her fall wardrobe, <laughs> but also um, little things for like Montessori setups I like to look at for thrift stores. I can share um, kind of like how we Montessori at home and some of the things we have if you're interested in that. Um, let me know. My hair's wild because I just took a shower and I haven't even brushed it yet. It's like my trick for like kind of that beachy hair vibes. Don't brush your hair after you get out of the shower. <laughs> hmm. What do you like? I have somewhat of a chair addiction. This one is a really cute mid-century chair. And then I'm totally obsessed with um, Kane at the moment. Everything Kane. So cute. But I don't need a chair. And I think these are cute too. Maybe like painted white. Maybe I can like reframe it and hang it in Harriet's room somewhere. How cute is that? So I feel like I didn't find too much for like clothes, but I'm gonna try them on quick. Harriet got a ball. <laughs> but I did find a lot of like random house decor stuff, so that wasn't exactly why I was here, but I got some. All right, let's try some of these on, Bean. So this is like a big winner for me. I'm into this. It's got like that mock turtleneck kind of vibe I think is so cool. Um, watch my child. So this one's a go. I feel like this will fit perfectly in my fall wardrobe and like help me transition from summer stuff to fall. So I love crop tops, but um, this one just feels a little too like spring summer vibe for me. So no go. So I wasn't entirely sure what I would actually think of this top because I kind of don't buy as much pattern anymore. But I think that the pattern is like so subtle and it's a nice like alternative to like any sort of like plaid or flannel that is such a staple in like the Midwestern fall and winter. Just busy baby. So this I think is a go even though it's like not really part of my Pinterest board or like fall vibes. It's more of like a blue color but I think that it could pair really well with like darker kind of pants that are more of like what I'm looking for for fall. So we'll see. I think I'm gonna get this. It's really comfortable too and like soft. So lastly I have this cardigan and I actually really like it. It's a little bit oversized but I think I'm kind of into that vibe. I like the color of it. I like the weight of it and um, I think I'm gonna get it. I'm like learning to embrace cardigans. I used to absolutely hate cardigans I think because I just never really knew how to like wear them or what to do with them. So I think I'm gonna add this one to my fall wardrobe. So I'm back from the thrift store and Harriet went down for a nap. Kind of got wild at the end because she was like getting squirrely so I didn't really film that much like right at the end. But um, I will show you like the houseware stuff that I got even though it like isn't really part of this video idea of like thrifting for your wardrobe because I only got three pieces for my wardrobe at this um, thrift store. I'm gonna keep looking for some of them. I have a feeling that some of the stuff I'm just 
going to have to buy like if I really want this like specific color and look maybe outside of a thrift store but I love finding unique pieces at thrift stores and it's like better for the environment it is usually a lot cheaper than buying things brand new and a lot of times you can get like unique things you wouldn't find anywhere else but let me show you quick just the few little houseware things that I also picked up at this trip. So you saw this print in the footage earlier, but this is um, like an embroidered piece. You're gonna see. And I think it would be really cool to maybe put it in a different frame, or even if I just like um, fixed up the frame a bit so that it just kind of fit a little bit better into the vibe. And I wanna hang that up in Harriet's room. And then this is a wine rack. Um, we have like a little dry bar down in our basement and I wanna put this inside the dry bar so that we can store our wine laying down because that's better for your wine because right now they're all like stacked up vertically. We like wine. <laughs> and then this is a cute little thing to hang on the wall. I'm going to paint it so that it doesn't have like this and kind of sand it down and then paint it probably just white. But I thought this would be a really cute thing for Harriet. Um, kind of part of the whole like Montessori concept is that to help them like with their, you know, like independence. And so she can put like her hat or like probably her coats on here come like fall time. And then I thought maybe on top of here I could put her brush so she could like brush her hair. And she has like a little station of like getting ready. Um, and then yeah, just hang it on the wall, whether I use this hook, I don't know how well that'll work. Um, just making sure it doesn't fall on her. So I might just have to like screw it into the wall and hook it on this somehow, the little heart. I thought that that was really cute. And once it's painted white, we'll fit in nicely into my house. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was a fun video to make. I always love going thrifting. I like finding things that are like budget friendly, affordable, and usually just like unique finds. I like kind of walking through a thrift store and then like it gets my like creative brain going and how I can like repurpose or like transform something to fit into my house or into my closet. <laughs> So thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't seen Emily's version of this video, I'll link it in the description below. Um, but yeah. Bye. <laughs> so I'm at another thrift store. This is now the next day. Just kind of impromptu. And um, I am going to see if I can find anything here for my like upcoming fall wardrobe. But I'll show you the other ones that I have at home. But my sister <clears throat> started like a jewelry company and these are clay earrings. They're super light and I think they're so cute and I feel like they match everything. I wear spring, summer, fall, pretty much my entire wardrobe. I'm super pumped about that. I'll show you the other ones that she gave me too. And they're um, launching at the end of August. Sorry, I was distracted by these random shoes. <laughs> like what are these? Um, but it's called Oliver Daywear, so you can go follow them on Instagram if you want. Um, and you can sign up for her newsletter so you know when the collection drops. So we just got back from the second thrift store that I just showed you guys, and I'll show you what I got. So I got, this is really wrinkly because I like shoved it in my purse, but um, it's a striped, um, not like a full button down, it's just like a half button down. But what I really like about it are the stripe colors. Um, I remember like last fall, winter, looking for a like vertical stripe top like this, but that wasn't blue and white. And this one is like a charcoal and white, which I just feel like is less nautical and maybe just like fits into more of my vibe lately. And then I also got this like I don't know I just I saw it like kind of last minute and I just was like super drawn to it I really like the color of it it's like a creamy almost like a vanilla e color denim jacket it has like a um, kind of a raw look hem to it but it's cropped it fit me really well I like the gold like brass button detail on it and then i like the really big pockets to me it feels very like everlane um and i don't know what this brand is mod ref oh, hold on there we go now it'll focus i'm sorry it was in manual focus um 
so I don't know what brand this is, but Mod Ref. And it just looks to me like something I would have found at Everlane, especially like these pocket details, like these big kind of like painter outfit pockets. I don't know how exactly to explain it, but um, it looks like, oh, it's missing a button. Maybe I can move one of these buttons down here. Oh, I didn't even notice that. Oh, bummer. Actually, I think I might have some of these, like, but oh, maybe not. Well, whatever. I guess we're rocking. I mean, I wouldn't button it up anyways, but it is kind of funny that that button is gone. I wonder what it'd look like without the buttons entirely. We'll see. Whatever. It's a minor detail. I feel like I didn't even notice until doing this video, so no one probably else will. Um, but this one was $8, and then this one was 6 bucks. So I'm happy with those two purchases. <laughs> Here's still the stuff from yesterday's thrift that I haven't put away. Um, but the other thing that I got was this chalkboard for like $1.99, I think. Yeah, $1.99 for Harriet's like little playroom. I'll grab my other earrings that I got from my sister from her new jewelry collection and show you guys. I'm very excited about them. I think they're gonna like match all of my outfits. So these are the other pairs that I have. I love this like tortoise patterns that she has been doing and colors. These are probably my favorite pair, but they're like a clay type of earring, but they you'd think that they'd be super um, heavy because they're like big, but they're so lightweight. I'm actually not somebody who really likes to wear um, big dangly earrings because sometimes they're like too heavy. These are like so lightweight and I just, I don't know, I love them. I wore them last night for like a ladies night out. And then I have these pair, which I think are just so cool. And these colors are just gonna like live so well in my fall wardrobe. And then what I think is also cool is that all of the um, earrings come on like cute little vintage postcards. How cute is that? So go follow my sister, it's all of her day wear um, on Instagram. Until I say hi. All right, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I think I already kind of finished this outro yesterday when I thought that was the last time I was going to the thrift store. So I will see you in my next one and I need to go finally put all of this stuff away in my house. <laughs>